Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, my name's Gary, aka The Plastic Boy, and welcome to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, girl. Welcome back, Plastic Fam. Um, today's video is all about new products, guys. I've got so much new makeup that's been piling up, piling up, and I've been saying, I'm gonna film with that. I'm gonna film with that. Well, it ain't been happening. So today is the day of new makeup. You guys can see what it's really like. Some some things I've tried before in my own just like personal day-to-day -day life. So I know how they wear and stuff. But a lot of the things here are new for me today. So we can test them out together. We can, we can, you know, we see each other. I see, we see each other. We see each other. Okay. So if you guys want to see what these new products are saying, keep on watching. Okay, so I haven't got any new primers, have I not? No, I haven't. So I'm actually gonna use my Too Faced for the primers. How are you guys doing anyway? I just wanna say thank you for joining Ship and Slow. Um, by the way, I give away when I was chosen. Um, she's actually from Australia, actually. She's, she literally watches my Instagram and YouTube and people say all the time, so she actually won. And um, don't worry, I've, oh, guys, I've got so much makeup, and honestly. I'm actually bringing back the charity bundles. Let me guys know when you'd like me to release them and like, what kind of, well, there's, there'll be everything. Skincare, premium, there'll be divine rose, everything. Like, I've got so many spares and stuff that, you know, I just feel like we'll be gone, we'll, we'll go, Forgot this week. We'll go to a better home and it'll be for a good cause. I literally need to choose out the charity. My skin is looking really good. I literally got my eyebrows done. The last video I didn't have my eyebrows done, so it was looking very, very mad. I'm trying to think what to do first. We have so much new product. I think I'm back to the base first because it's a lightweight. So I'm gonna use this brand. It's by Sai. You guys probably mentioned have me mentioned this before. This is the brand where I did the bronze. I had have I got the bronzer here? Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not sure where it is, but they had that power bronzer, which is called Sunkiss or something. So this is their slick tint broad spectrum, SPF 35 tinted moisturizer. So I'm gonna shake it. This is a very lightweight, so let me show you. Oh, actually, it's kind of got like a, a gel texture. I'm not sure if they sent me the right color. It is a bit warm for me. Let me see. It actually is kind of the same consistency as the Laura Mercy one. But you can see how you can see how sheer it is, guys. Like you can literally see my skin all the way through. But I think this is quite nice if you don't like re wearing a lot of foundation. It feels like nothing. I've been wearing this to like meetings and stuff, and it does wear really nicely. Again, it will come off a bit with the mask because it is sheer. But if you powder it down and use the right setting spray, it can take you where you need to go. Uh -huh. Wow, this is gorgeous. This is the first time I've ever actually maybe put more on than normal. It is luminous. You can see this is definitely need powdering down, and I guess this isn't for the oil. Well, I'm oil. Really, so I don't really mind a bit of dew because I know how to really set my face but again if you don't really like you know dewy foundations or like with a sheen I wouldn't I personally wouldn't go there for you but it is a nice tinted moisturizer I would say it'd be really nice on holiday before actually with why can't I speak today I also color corrected before I use this I forgot to send the last clip I'm actually gonna go in a bit with a NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer just because I've been loving this concealer again just before I highlight because I feel like this has like such a nice undertone for like really making sure the under eye doesn't have any more darkness in there. I do love to let this sit for a while because it is radiant but once it dries in that in between stage it's so pretty. And oh my god I love doing Sip and Slay on Friday. It made me, it just made me, I don't know, it just made me miss it even more because I hadn't done it since August which I had no idea and you guys are so supportive. I didn't even think anyone was even, was even going to show up and you guys really came Okay, so I'm definitely gonna do another one. Um, I'm out, I think I'm out on Friday, so I think the Friday after. But I'm gonna try and make them more regular. I'm also, I really wanna start a coffee series because you guys know I love coffee. I really, I'm not sure what day I'm gonna do on, I'm gonna do it on Mondays, but I, I really wanna make it about different topics because I know Sip and Slay is more about like celebrity news and beauty and you know, talking about those things that are going on in the world. And it's a bit like after hours, we get to have a drink, you guys can chill. And I really want this to be like, what do you want, what, what do you what you guys want to speak about? Do you want to speak about like, life influencing, goals, like just general topics we can really speak about while having coffee and not wine, you know? Obviously you can have wine as well. I want it to be a bit different to Sip and Slay because, you know, different vibes, different day. And I know it's a lot for me to commit to, but I'm back in. I'm not, I'm not for the streets now, Mel, but yeah. Let me, let me know in the comments down below and also let me know a good 
segment name for it because I think Stephen Slade's really cute but I'm not gonna call the coffee segment mm -hmm. okay so we have the new Kevin Aquan concealers this looks a lot smaller actually how many grams is this it doesn't even 10 grams how much is the other one the other one is 18 grams what Kevin I'm gonna need some answers because the math ain't mathing. Oh, it must be the, the price must have changed because of how I know the girlies ain't paying the same price. Anyway, um, I've got the shades. I wanted highlight colors, so they sent me highlight colors because um, I've got SX13, which I believe is this one. And I've got SX12 there. I definitely had two Kevin O'Quinn enhancers. I think one of them is in my other makeup bag, which I cannot be asked to get, so it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. Apparently, this one's. Oh, I don't even know what the difference is. I don't normally use this as a concealer, but I thought, let me use it today because it's new. I do think it's, you know what? If you don't have a lot of time and you are a pro blender makeup fanatic, this concealer is one of the best concealers, but child, just do it when you have a lot of time because, and use a little bit because a little bit goes a long way because this can go from A to B very quickly. So I'm gonna, even that's a lot like, like that. It's a really nice shade, by the way. This is SX13, so it has more of a golden undertone. I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna blend these out. So I'm actually gonna apply my bronzer first, but I'm not sure how these set. I haven't used these for ages. Let me go into our mirror. I know so many people like swear by Kevin O'Quan. These make me these make me think of my friend Aunt Joe because whenever I think of Kevin O'Quan, the skin handsome, I know she actually swears by this concealer. The consistency definitely feels more different. It doesn't feel as creamy as the other one. Maybe it's because, I don't, this would definitely crease though. Creams just crease anyway. This definitely feels different to the other one, 100%. Like the other one is so creamy and so like, I don't know. I feel like this one may be a tiny bit more easy to manage, you know? Like it's blending out like a dream and the color's beautiful. Okay, so I added some ABH bronzer, I added chestnut, and cool brown i've done a review on these i'll link it down below but you know it's just a step that i just added i don't have any new bronzers so i actually really like those two together chef's kiss show me chef's kiss with this central skin hunter i feel like it looked bright i want to put it on is it me or am i tripping i just feel like okay but normally with creams they do warm up but i'm gonna i've actually got another color here called xx11 so i'm gonna put this on because you guys know i love a bright under eye one thing about me we're gonna do a bright under eye. So I'm literally gonna, just gonna do, ooh, this is really, oh wow. That's literally like beige. I'm literally just gonna do that bit there and try and keep the brightness in because, girl, so cute though. It's actually just so cute, but I'm gonna need to see the price on this guy. It's definitely different because I'm not gonna use cream concealers, but they definitely do blend into the under eye a bit more better. Oof, with this contour, my skin looks amazing. What I am noticing though, it's definitely sitting in fine lines. Well, if you don't set this quick, it's gonna look mad. So the next new product, I know the girlies wanna know what this is about. I just I just know you guys are gonna wanna know the 4T. You guys know I love me some hourglass, but hourglass, they just, they just, they just weren't that inclusive. Like, okay, the foundation, okay, the concealers, yeah. But with the ambient powders, the, that's the that's one of their most top selling things. So if you've got the foundation, the concealer, what would you what would you not do for us? But I love Hourglass anyway. I've met the founder. I've been to the store in LA. They are so sweet, and I'm so happy to they announce they have um, released the ambient light lighting palette volume three, which looks like this. So I'm not sure if these are they've got eternal light, transit light, and print. Oh, Charles, this is a highlighter all over powder and setting powder. I'm gonna use this one under my eyes. I'm not sure what it's gonna look like because child, I'm a bit scared. Should I take a blender? I might take off one of my um, Smith brushes, the one I always use. So I'm gonna put that in there. Oh, that's, that's got glare in it. Oh no, it's perfect. It is perfect. Well, I, I, I'm definitely gonna have to go in with something a bit lighter, but it is like a really nice shade for the under eye. Oh, it's nice. Can't lie, the powder's gorge. It's really nice. I haven't used anything else. I'll just use that color and like the smoothness is giving me what I need. So I'm going to use this middle shade here. What's this called? It's called a Transcendent Light Powder. I'm going to dip my milk brush into it. This would be, oh, oh my God. But this, oh, almost dips into the highlight bit. That's why I was a bit scared. Um, this would be an amazing palette to travel with. It's so gorgeous. It's really nice. It kind of reminds me though of the MAC 
Moonlight Skin. My skin is glowing. I think got, it's probably the tinted moisturizer. Banging. Told you guys, banging. You can still see that sheen in my skin. What? Hourglass, no. This looks un real okay so the powder is very nice but it's definitely not the matte powder i've tried i actually forgot i had this powder i haven't used it in a video yet and this is the makeup forever ultra hd setting powder and this is um in 4.0 golden beige i do know i've seen people use so i think i've seen makeup by shayla uses and this is matte it comes with a, like a little thing here and it actually it does come with a sponge which i do have actually so this is the shade here super cute so this is the puff here how cute is that again you don't have to use this one i do love the laura mercier one though i'm actually just gonna how we get on with this can you guys tell the difference not for the bar. wow yeah this powder is really really nice when they say ultra fine i really like this powder. i'm gonna use a little bit of a blender i've still got a little bit in there this powder is it's probably like the perfect color because as you guys know i love the huda beauty kunafa but this one is a tiny bit um, warmer in, no, it's not warmer, it's not, it's a bit more golden. The Huda Beauty is a bit more yellow, orange. Oh wow, I really like this. I'm really liking the base, it looks banging. I'm loving everything. Okay, we're gonna go in now with the makeup by Mario. This is deep. This is a new product which I haven't shown on my channel, which I don't think I have yet. If I showed this, I don't think I have, but um, I do like this bronzer. I actually got this. No, I don't think I've shown it on my channel, but I do, do like it. What, what brush should I use? Oh, I'm gonna use the Katie Jane Hughes one. This powder does have a lot of kickback, but it's beautiful. What's going on with the base? Uh, it might be a tinted moisturizer because everything on my skin is looking hella airbrushed. What's going on? Cause a mapping, mapping sis. Like. So the next eyeshadow palette. When I first saw it, I was, I was a bit like, mm. but before I use it, I'm gonna use the Nars Soft Matte Complete Concealer in a mandate as an eyeshadow base, just because I really like this. It's super. It's, it's not super matte. It's like a creamy matte, and it's actually a really nice spot concealer. I got a chance to work with Nars recently, and it just made me love this concealer again. Unlike no makeup days, like no no makeup days. I'll put a tiny bit of this like under my eye and like literally like just rock out but it's just so nice as a base. I can't even do my eyes last, I'm so scared but this eyeshadow palette better not have any fallout. So we're gonna use a new palette. This is her. How pretty is this? This is the Prim, the Prime Rose Anastasia palette. How gorgeous is this? How gorgeous like I'm up flipping obsessed. When this came out, I'm like, mm, mm, I ain't too sure about that. Cause I think this is supposed to be a bronzer, but when I see it now, it could bronze someone, but it also could be a really nice transition color for us. Again, it doesn't have a lot of browns. So just, you're very limited to what colors you can like, you can really do, but everyone has another AK. If you don't have the Jackie one, then I'm not sure what you're doing. But if you combine this with a Jackie one, this with any other ABH palette, you can pretty much, you can do a look with this actually. It's very soft glam, it's very of the moment. So I actually also have the Glossier shadows. If you want a tutorial on those, comment down below and I'll do a video for you because they look really good too. I'm gonna start with Saddle in the Crease just because, oh, did you see that fall down? It's a lot of fall back, but it's fine. Oh, this is a, Saddle's Saddle definitely not a new color. I've seen Saddle, in a palette before, it might be the Soft Glam. So either the Soft Glam or it's the Modern Renaissance. But Saddle, it definitely reminds me. Oh, this is beautiful. Also, what's everyone loving right now? Everyone and their mom is releasing a beauty line. Um, Mariah Carey just announced she's releasing hers. Doesn't surprise me because she's got perfume, she's got other things, but it just, I wouldn't recognize Mariah for glam. Her makeup's always nice, but it's never really like, like you wouldn't be like, oh, what, what eyeshadow is she gone? Do you know what I mean? But I mean, I mean, I'm intrigued to see what she's doing, but if, if JLo can do JLo beauty, Mariah can do Mariah beauty. Makes sense. So that color looks cute. I'm actually gonna go in with Rogue, which is this shade here. But there's a lot of fallout in this palette, but it's fine. I'm gonna press. Rogue. All up in Rogue. Ooh, this is a pretty shade though. Oh wow. This color's kind of, it looks like it would be like a, this one here, like a, it's like a, 
I don't know, like a neutral brown, but on me it looks serene. This actually would be a, mm, would be a nice, yeah, it would be a nice wedding palette. I'm just gonna put some on here as well. Okay, so this looks definitely turning out more warm than I intended it to. I feel like I was gonna go in with clarinet and deep berry because these are the only kind of tones that, hmm, I'm not even sure what to, let me just try with clarinet, girl. Well, that looks really good. I like the shade. The palette, the, these shadows feel really different though, but they're still really nice, but they feel really different. They're blending like a dream, like everything's blending seamlessly, but as you can see, there's a lot of kit back on this palette, which is, I don't really mind, to be honest. I don't know. I just feel like saddle may be a bit too strong with the pink. Maybe I put too much saddle on, but I just feel like this color, I'm not, I mean, to be honest, I didn't, uh, oh, child. And the face was going so, but it's a pretty palette. It's my fault, I didn't know what to do with it, but we're gonna see, we're gonna make it work. So I was basically gonna put on some shimmer, yeah? These shimmers are so beautiful, but I think I'm gonna keep it matte, guys, just because I'm not really in a shimmer mood. The shimmers are stunning though, but I feel like, sorry, I just had to have a snack. I feel like I'm gonna do another look with this palette just because I wanna know what look I wanna do, but for now I'm gonna keep it matte. I know someone's gonna say, oh, you've done a pink eye again, but I'm just gonna keep, well, I want the base to be the winner as well, do you know what I mean? So I just added a liner. This is the new liner from Hindash. This is called Heroin. Oh my God. I actually thought the Huda Beauty liner was like one of the best liners I've ever used. This has to be it. It's so black. It's so, the, the flow ink is, guys, I'm no liner connoisseur, but I, I just wanted to do like a half liner to give it a bit of, you know, je ne sais quoi, and wow, look how black it is. Okay, so from when I last saw you, I put on some individual lashes from Isla. It went so wrong, so like, Hold on, this one's coming up, you can see here. But guys, it is above me. When I say it's above me, it's like proper above me. Why would, I was like, let me be extra and apply them. Do you see them? It's fine, but they look cute anyway. But I was just applying it wrong. But anyway, I did the liner. I really like the liner. It's super, super sharp, super straight. Because of my eye shape, I go this way and not up. Because I feel like sometimes up, it just can be a bit magical about a hood. So I'm actually gonna take some of the Morphe setting spray because I'm not going anywhere. And yeah. Also, Morphe have 50% off everything right now. So this is 50% off. So make sure you go and cut. For blush, I'm gonna take this West Atelier. This is like a really bright blush. It's called Puppet. Ooh, this looks. Ooh, let's try it anyway. I feel like it looks more intense on the back of my hand to on the cheek. I'm just using a Morphe. M4, this isn't new, but I'm gonna take my Marina Boutte Cashmere Rose. I feel like this makeup look is definitely giving very much autumn fall. It's very much warm, but with a bit, well, it's, like, it's very, I'd call it dusty rose, but I'm gonna use, let's mix these two. Actually, let's mix all of them, why not? Ooh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so for highlight, do I use the Jackson Hill Cosmetics one, which is new, which is not new. Oh God, Ooh. oh no! Or do I use the Hourglass one? Hmm, I think you guys are gonna wanna see wh what this is giving because I think you can get, well, a Jacqueline's palette anytime. I'm trying to think what brush to use. Let me use a fan brush. This is it here. Ooh, oh wow. These are so smooth. You guys seen that? Going in with Limitless Brown, this Hourglass Highlighter is beautiful. I like it because it's not too glittery. For lip sets, I actually have these two Morphe lip kits. I've got um, Chill Nude and I've got a Toasty Nude. I think I'm gonna go for Toasty Nude. These were like three pounds, I think. I'm not sure how much they were, but they were so cheap. I was like, ooh, I actually really like Morphe lip products. Hold on, is this the lighter one? Oh, oh, this is cute. Okay, so you get a lipstick in there called Commit, which I think I've definitely had before, and a gloss called Groove. So let's go. Okay, so this is the finished look, guys. What do you guys think? Just checking there's no gloss on my teeth. Okay, I really love this look. What do you guys think? I even know if it's, I don't think it's quite pink. It's very much, it looks like it could be auburn or something else. I love how everything on my face kind of ties in together, like the blush, the lip, this lip combo is a top tier, especially for this being like three pounds. The eyes, the liner, everything just looks so gorgeous. I really like it, really, really do. Okay, so the standard product for me was 
Love the base. Imagine this is just a tinted moisturizer. Um, of what it's giving, definitely it's not getting really oily, even though I've been sat, sat here filming for three hours. Really be like, it's got an SPF of 35. The Makeup Forever Powder. I'm gonna link this book below. Um, if you're in the UK, you can only get this from Guru Makeup Emporium. I will link this below. They actually do same day delivery, banging. Also, hold on, where's it gone? Which, which one did I use? Hold on. Oh, Toasty Nude, banging, really, really nice. Really like that. And oh, this Hourglass palette, baby. Baby Hourglass, please create more products for deeper skin tones. You prove that you can do it now. This, I'm not saying this, this highlight, the setting powder, I think it's just what's making the skin do what it's supposed to do. I think it was a combination of the tinted moisturizer and that. Really like this. Also the Anastasia palette, it's very easy to work with. Super easy. I do want to use this again. I just feel like what I did, I did this eye in like maybe like 10 minutes. Obviously it gets condensed down in filming. The lip, the lip, and also the blush palette by Marina Boutte. I think the blush is also kind of tying in the face. Like if you look at the tones, this is basically like what some of my eyes, like it, these two go hand in hand. So I'm really liking this. Let me guys know if you like this look and if you want me to do like anything else. But um, yeah, this was the full face of new products guys. I hope you guys liked it. Um, please don't forget to give me any names for my um, coffee um, segment on YouTube. And um, yeah, I hope you guys are okay. I love you guys so much. And I should see you for my sip and slay, which should be next Friday. I might do one this Friday. I'll let you guys know in the community section. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.